Hey guys, what's up and welcome to another video on Action Studios. Um, yeah, first of all, I'm going to apologize for not uploading regularly for like a few months now. Um, that's mainly because I don't have that much things to share with you. So it would really help my channel if you could suggest some ideas, um, what I could show you, what you want to see, preferably uh, if you want to know things how I did them on my main channel, Action Graphics. Uh, and yeah, but let's put these things aside and have a look at today's tutorial, uh, which is also from a video from my show reel actually, uh, that I recently uploaded on my main channel, Action Graphics. And there we have this cool transition going from one frame to another frame, this uh, glitch transition. Uh, also really, quickly set up a uh, another example here. Uh, this is, by the way, not my video. Um, this is a really cool edit on Vimeo, which I really want you to check out because, yeah, it's a, just a really good skiing edit uh, and he's really good at skiing. Uh, this one right there by Garrett Balen. Um, be sure to check this out. The link is in the description and all credits go to this guy. So anyways, I'm going to show you what I made here. And the other one here. Uh, you can also see like a really small example of the same transition um, exactly here. Uh, it's the same technique, but yeah, I think this looks is a way better example because it looks way better. I'm gonna turn off the sound here just to uh, preview it while talking um, because yeah, maybe disturbing having these sounds in the background. So anyways, uh, I think we are going to get started with this tutorial now. Um, and for that, I'm going to make a new composition pressing Control N or Command N on Mac. And yeah, 10 seconds is fine for me. Um, yeah, proportions perfect. And now I'm going to drag in my Jackson Hole edit. I downloaded it from Vimeo and just, yeah, select. I'm just going to select random, really random clicks right now. Uh, maybe this jump right here, cut it maybe around here. Okay. And then you can press um, Command Shift D. And now we can drag this further uh, to find another clip. Yeah, I'm just gonna take this one, I, it doesn't matter. And then you can click Alt, uh, Option key and bracket to cut. And then I'm also going to make it a bit longer, be sure to make it like, I don't know, maybe 20 frames, depends. Um, and then I'm gonna cut the composition. Okay, cool. Now we have these two clips, right? Now, in order to make our glitch displacement effect, um, which we're going to use the displacement map effect for, we have to create a, a, a displacement map. And for that, I'm just going to make a new uh, solid, pressing Control Y. Uh, that's fine. And then let's add the effect. Um, where am I? Okay have to load. Okay, how's it called? Um, noise, some noise. Fractal noise, exactly. Drag fractal noise on your solid and then go down to noise type and select block. Cool. And then just play around with those. I like to drag up the contrast. I don't know why actually. Then go down to transform uh, and unclick this box uniform scaling so that we have individual control for our uh, for our blocks and now you can see this only goes uh, up to 600 but you can actually type in um, 30,000 I think no 10,000 is the maximum um, and scale height yeah let's drag this up to 200 hmm, maybe 300 no 200 200 actually and now we can uh, drag down the complexity to about 
three maybe. Oh, and then edit the height again. Yeah, and offset or turbulence. Okay, so that we have something that looks like this. If you want more glitch to happen, if you want it to be uh, very complex, then just drag up the complexity to six or whatever. And if you want to have it like I did in here, less complex, then just leave it at three. And now um, if I, why is, okay. If I hide this layer and go to this one and select um, add the effect displacement map, and then select our solid as displacement map, you will see that it kind of doesn't work. We don't get the glitch effect that we want. So now um, the thing that After Effects does is um, it takes this only the solid without the fractal noise on it as displacement map. So we need to copy our effect with control C, I hope you know that, and then right click the solid down here and pre-compose the whole thing click OK and then go inside this comp, select the white solid and paste it on here again because for some fucking reason After Effects doesn't get that I want to have this fractal noise effect on our solid and kind of just pops it on the pre-composition. Uh, so yeah, now you can just delete this one again and now you can see it already worked. Um, we can set this to zero and then we are going to add some keyframes. So I'm gonna set one around here uh, with uh, horizontal displacement at zero and then go down to this frame and set it to, okay, I'm going to make this invisible and drag this up to, yeah, maybe 10,000. And the problem with this is if I drag this up to the maximum, which is 32,000, um, we can still see some parts. And I like to leave it at around 10,000 because otherwise, yeah, nothing much more will happen and the movement would be way too fast. By the way, a little trick, uh, if you drag this and don't want to drag it a hundred times until you reach your amount you want to reach, uh, you can hold shift while dragging and it will drag way faster. Okay, enough with the useless tips in After Effects. Um, let's see what this looks like. Okay, it's already looking good, um, but now we want um, th these stripes to disappear completely. Actually, I'm going to drag this down to 6000 so it's even smoother the movement if you know what I mean and um, then we need to cheat a little and we're gonna do that by going to position making keyframe and then going down on the timeline and just dragging it all the way out there in either direction uh, don't worry if you think that's really it's going to look bad. Trust me, it's going to look good and you won't notice. Um, did you notice this effect? I don't think so. So yeah, let's get on with it. Um, now we can make this one visible again and drag it down here. And then we can see it's already looking kind of cool. But now we want this second clip to have a glitch effect too. So now I'm just going to copy the displacement map and paste it on this layer and press U to see the keyframes and now select those, right click, go to keyframe assistant and select time reverse keyframes. There you go and now they are yeah time reversed but now we can see there are some white spaces or transparent spaces if you want to, uh, if you activate this transparency thing, uh, we can fix it by pressing wrap pixels around, which kind of just th randomly throws some additional stripes around uh, your glitch displacement map layer. 
Um, just to have a smoother ending, I am going to drag this one down to only 3000 maybe. Okay, cool. And now go to this layer again, press U. And now we can add F9 called easy easing to those two effects. And um, I'm going to go in there and drag the first one to 100%. And for the second one, drag the second one to 100%. Now let's see what this looks like. Okay, sorry for uh, leaving this sound on. Okay, kind of cool. Only that we already have a cut in there, but yeah, who cares? It's just a tutorial. Yeah, kind of looks cool. Now, if that's um, if you want to want it to be even smoother, then maybe drag uh, make this layer um, appear earlier and drag this keyframe even earlier on the timeline. And uh, same with this one. And now it should even look way smoother. Yeah. Okay. Cool. And yeah, if you want to make it faster, just select all of those, uh, hold Option key and just drag the latest keyframe down there and then just cut this layer. And yeah, there you have it. Uh, yeah, I hope this tutorial was helpful for you and you can use this glitch effect for some cool stuff. Yeah, let me know in the comments if you make anything cool with it. I love to see my tutorials in action uh, and what comes out of it. So yeah, be sure to do that. And also be sure to subscribe and like, of course, because there is going to be a lot of awesome stuff coming soon. Um, yeah, bye.